Welcome to the Water Environment Research Foundation's Terry tutorial series. This first tutorial in the series, entitled Overview of Terry, will walk you through how to use the tool to evaluate resource recovery, referred to as Terry, to assess your plant's potential to recover phosphorus. Terry is intended to provide utilities with a quick and fairly straightforward idea of whether or not nutrient recovery may be viable at a specific facility. It also provides a rough estimate of the capital cost and the operating and maintenance costs of the system. It is important to note that the tool is not designed to replace a detailed engineering feasibility analysis. The current version of Terry, version 9, is designed to assess plants that currently use anaerobic digesters or aerobic digesters to stabilize their solids or have no on-site solids stabilization. Prior to using Terry, it may be helpful for you to use the Nutrient Recovery Decision Matrix available at www.werf.org to determine which assessment tool will be the most beneficial for your facility. Once you have determined that Terry is an appropriate tool for you to use, you will open the Terry and get started. The first information you should look at is located on the README page. The Contents section is located at the top of the README page. It contains links to technical reference documents that provide background information on some of the technologies that achieve struvite recovery. These process summaries include process flow schematics, product nutrient content, grain size, etc. Also, the struvite crystallization fact sheet includes contact information for the process manufacturers and a list of facilities and contact information where these processes are in operation. Additional information available from the README tab includes quick reference instructions, details on Terry inputs and calculations, the proper way to cite Terry as a reference in a paper or report, the proper use and application of Terry, and the version number and date of the copy of Terry you are using. Much of the information included in the instructions, inputs, and calculations is incorporated into this tutorial series. The links included in the detailed instructions section will allow you to download and or print the input and calculation descriptions. Next, we should organize the data that we need and begin entering it into Terry. Details on these next steps are included in the next tutorial entitled, Inputting Your Data.